Hey, bio team. Uh, so you guys have learned uh, that the genes or the alleles uh, for building our proteins are found as part of chromosomes. And furthermore, that you've learned that we've got, for the most part, two copies of each gene, uh, two copies of each allele, uh, because we receive two copies of each type of chromosome. We receive uh, one copy of a chromosome from our fathers and one copy of uh, each type of chromosome from our mothers. So when it comes to chromosomes, the only exception to the rule that chromosomes always come in pairs uh, would be with sex chromosomes. And specifically in humans, uh, the exception comes in the fact that while women receive two copies of uh, X chromosomes, uh, men only receive a single X chromosome, and instead of a second X chromosome, they receive a Y chromosome. And it's the Y chromosome that causes them to develop into men. So for almost every chromosome in our bodies, we have two copies of each type. These are called autosomes, chromosomes that we have two copies of each type. The one exception is sex chromosomes, uh, and men in particular do not have a backup copy of either their X chromosome or their Y chromosome. So when it comes to autosomal traits, that is, uh, traits whose alleles are found on these regular autosomes, uh, men and women are affected equally, because men and women each have two copies of the gene. But when it comes to sex-linked traits, that is, uh, traits whose alleles are found on sex chromosomes, uh, men and women are affected at different rates, because men have one copy of each chromosome, uh, whereas women have two copies. So there's a couple of types of sex-linked traits that can affect men and women differently. The first of these would be an X-linked recessive trait. That is uh, a trait that is recessive that is found on the X chromosome. So here we've got an example of a woman that has received a recessive allele on her X chromosome. And we have an example of a man who's received a recessive allele on his X chromosome. Well, what you'll find with an X-linked recessive trait is that men tend to be affected uh, by these recessive traits more often than women. The reason being is that this woman who received uh, this recessive allele on her X chromosome actually has a backup allele on her other X chromosome. And so in this case, because her other X chromosome is dominant, uh, she would not express the recessive trait. Her phenotype would be dominant and not recessive. Whereas the man who received a recessive uh, allele on his X chromosome, uh, his Y chromosome doesn't have a backup allele on it. His Y chromosome just has no uh, allele. And so consequently, this man uh, would have the recessive trait with only a single X chromosome. So another type of sex chromosome linked trait would be a dominant allele that is found on X chromosomes. And, and so here we've got a man that has a dominant trait uh, on his X chromosome. And what you'll find with uh, an X-linked dominant allele, so what you'll find with an X-linked dominant trait is when it comes time for a father who has the trait uh, to have kids of their own, the father will always pass the trait on to his daughters. That is, his daughters will always have the trait, uh, and his sons will never get the trait from him. The reason being is that if the father is going to have a daughter, uh, the father has to donate its X chromosome. If the father were to donate its Y chromosome, then he wouldn't be making a daughter, he would be making a son. And so the father will uh, guaranteed uh, give his X chromosome to his daughters. And if his X chromosome has a dominant allele on it, then the daughter will definitely receive the dominant trait, and the daughter will definitely express the dominant trait. Whereas if the father is going to have a son, well, in this case, the father will definitely not pass on the trait to any of his sons because the father is going to be donating his Y chromosome uh, to his son. Yeah. Now, the son could still get the trait, but the son would have to get the trait from his mother uh, because the son gets his X chromosome from his mom and he only gets the Y chromosome from his dad. So the last type of sex-linked trait would be a trait that is found on the Y chromosome. And so what you'll find about Y-linked traits is that a trait found on the Y chromosome will only affect men, because men are the only people that have Y chromosomes. And so here we've got a father with a trait on his Y chromosome. And so when it comes time for this father to have children, uh, all of this father's sons 
uh, will receive the trait on the Y chromosome. Uh, and the reason being is that the son receives their Y chromosome from their father. They receive their X chromosome from their mom and not from their dad. Meanwhile, if the father has a daughter, uh, the daughter can't receive uh, the Y-linked trait because daughters just don't receive Y chromosomes. They're receiving X chromosomes from their father and the X chromosome from their mother. And that's it. At this point, you guys have some practice problems. Uh, we'll see you next class.